Hey, what is going on guys, it's the Atlas Project here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser Eichmont as Irongar Romania. Now, some people may uh, disagree with my action of uh, annexing all of Bulgaria. And uh, I went back, I had an auto save, and I tried to, like, puppet them. Give this territory back to Greece and then puppet them. I had 34 factories beforehand. Now I have 60. That said something. That's that's a lot of factories, and I'm not just gonna let all these factories sit here and go to waste to my puppet. So we're gonna keep Bulgaria. Uh, we're gonna keep them as our uh, little annexed province, because we will really need all the resources we can get uh, to fight off Austria. So as you can see, we've got a lot more, a um, lot more factories. And I am going to start producing some support equipment. Four there, one there, one there. Now what do we need to import? Steel. 13 steel. Okay. We shall import steel. And I guess I'm going to start upgrading my divisions. Oh my fucking god. Did I seriously? Okay, no, never mind, never mind. Okay. First of all, we need to upgrade these guys. Mountaineers, artillery, mountaineers, mountaineers, and here we're gonna give the engineers. Good, great, okay. All right, now so far we have a decent sized army, and uh, we'll see if we can expand that even more. There we go, I say that, and we do the focus expand the army. Um, I guess we can go for for new infantry weapons first, because I really don't need military factories at this point. I have 20, and that's kind of good enough for me. Now, our goals to make Romania even bigger is to take Odessa, take Mog Mogilev Podolsky, and take Kmelnitsky, and then take back Bukovina here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to tamper with any of these, because eh, maybe I'll take if the, um, never mind, if the freaking subs don't do anything, I may just snatch Voivodina from them, because why not? I snatch this bit here, and this here, and this area here, I guess, like make us this big. I just really don't like this bulge here, because it doesn't fit the Romanian aesthetic. I like to keep my borders kind of clean. But yeah, so far we have our huge... Oh! The members of the Bucharest Circle have spread the seeds of anti arangar revolution. The people in the north of the country have taken arms. Ooh! Okay, yeah. Okay, I was warned about this. It's okay. I was warned about, warned about this. And, uh... We will have no issue defeating these. Just... Don't worry, people. It's gonna be easy peasy. Wow, that's a massive civil war. Who's... Oh, hello, fucking Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you doing? You doing okay? You good? Good. Okay. So I see you don't really like my government, do you now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, they've signed a white peace. Okay, so Italians did bring back some of their land. Oh, fuck. What the fuck did I press? Okay, I just declared war on them, I guess. Okay, that's fair. Let's go. I don't see they have that many troops, so we're gonna storm in. R great Romanian... Serbian... Ah, now you see. Now you see. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I like this. I like this. I like this. I love this. All right. This is good news. This is good news, you see? This is some realism right there. Oh, I feel proud. <laughs> I feel proud over a game. But no, seriously. Uh, Iron Guard Terror. Use rather doubtful methods. Well, war is war, yeah. I mean, I cannot really... Uh, 
uh, how do I say, I cannot really control what quote-unquote the, uh, the Iron Guards do. I know that we are a slightly more brutal anti-Semitic faction, but honestly, we have huge Zardoms, we have socialists, yeah, I don't think we're the least of world's worries. Also, let's get in there. Let's make them capitulate before too terribly long. Yeah, we lost 1k. They've lost 6k. Right, they have... Besser oh, Minister Sports is ideology. Okay, what the fuck? I don't care. So yeah, Carol, um, I see you're doing well there. You made a... You made quite an effort. Ah, uh, too bad you're gonna have to die. There we go. Let's liberate the Kingdom of Hungary. What, so I can liberate this to Kingdom of Hungary? Seriously? Seriously? Fuck that shit. Oh. Ooh. What? Okay, I need to pass turns. There we go. And there we go. So I keep the Serbian brigades? Yes, I do, apparently. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. And boom. Alright, now uh, one thing about Antonescu, which is sad, is that I'll have to unassign him. I'll have to promote him, which will lose all of his treats. But yeah, I should have done that earlier. But I just didn't think I would make that big of an army. So he lost all the trees. He had a lot of trees. I don't like Ion Antonescu. I really don't. He was... He was a... Royalist coup crushed. Yassi and Chizinev, along with the rest of Moldova, have fallen before our brave soldiers. Remaining soldiers loyal to the treacherous Royalists are surrendering in droves, and our forces are retaking power in the streets and major cities. Yay! What, do I get more army? Oh, I got more more soldiers. Okay, all right, more soldiers. Let's just uh, upgrade you to these. Ah, the civil war actually went better than expected. I now have a lot more uh, troops. Now I would go for claim Transistria, but I'm actually going to wait for the world war because. Because I kind of don't want to go to war with, uh, with Ukraine just yet. Uh, I kind of want for the Untaunt... Ooh, who's this guy? Vladimir the First... Okay, so Romanovs are back in power. Um, kind of want the Frenchies to go to war uh, so that I can help. Like, Russia's definitely not going to do anything. Uh, if anything, they may actually support the Germans because now they're royalist. But the thing that I want to do is uh, wait for the French and the British and the Italians to start their war. And once they do that, I shall quote-unquote help by taking out Ukraine and uh, Eastern Front like I did in uh, the Soviet Let's Play. Ah, it seems we've lost two factories. Ah, sad. Oh, it seems that the Ottomans are... Kind of pushing people back. So what's going on around the world? I don't see much going on. But yeah, we will need to go to war with uh, Austria quite soon. So division infantry, we're gonna give you engineers. Okay, these guys signed a white piece. Engineers, recon, and we're gonna give you one more infantry battalion. Can I give you Mountaineers? Maybe that will be actually kind of better. Okay, let's just see. HP 249. Let's compare. No, better at HP. What would be the soft attack? So, uh, much the same. Alright, I'll use infantry just because better HP. There we go. It's gonna get that's gonna make us uh get a lot more troops in again. But yeah, what's going on in the USA? Okay, so the Pacific states have secured their little country. Look at their flag. It's a new flag. So yeah, the Pacific states are now a thing. Uh, it seems that the USA will definitely be split. 
the syndicates are doing great and so is the American Union state. The poor United States under the leadership of Charles Curtis is uh, eh, not in that good of a spot. Also it seems that New England has been munched up by Canada. <laughs> okay, okay. It's going to be a fun war. So let's actually see who's uh, in good relations with us. Socialist Republic of Italy likes us because we're trade partners. Same goes for the British. And the only real country that's that's good with us is Shangjing Tiango or Tiangu. So great. Also, the communists won in Brazil. Great. <laughs> if Serbia lays claims on Macedonia, I'm gonna give give that back to them. Because I really don't like the look of my country now. It's not aesthetically beautiful. It's not aesthetically beautiful. God damn it. How are is that actually how is the um Austrian Montenegrin War. Whoa! Whoa, damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Serbs definitely, like, destroyed. Oh! Let's pause. Uh, it's Union Day, just. Okay. Just the Union Day. Let's go for artillery effort because we'll need to upgrade that at one point. kind of want the Austrians to attack me because I'm good at defense so yeah we have a lot of divisions it seems that the Austrians are gonna lose a whole shit ton of troops trying to cross the Danube which is great that's okay with me that's perfectly fine with me Hmm. Okay. I could actually go and pop up to Albania, get Kosovo back to Serbia. I could actually take care of... Ah, sh oh yeah, we need more political power. I could actually kind of rule the Balkans. Uh, make these two my puppets. Hmm. Oh, Armenia capitulate. Wow, Persia. Persia, man. What'd you go against? Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. This guy looks a lot like Stalin. Mr. Sports is ideology. Pfft. Actually, I cannot do that anymore because freaking Horiyoshima is slowly taking a good chunk of the ministry. Okay, your guns. Guns, guns, guns. Uh, let's go for this. What's our ministry like? Eternal autocrats, national populist, national populist, national populist. Wait, this guy is in charge. Here it says he's national populist, yet he's the leader of this party. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so much. So much. Uh, greatness. So strong. But yeah, we should end the episode right here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, as always, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.